Welcome back to the program. You know, if socialism ever took over in the United States, we would look like Venezuela. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to mince my words here. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. If, God forbid, Bernie Sanders or one of these crazy 2020 Democrats were to win the election, we would look like Venezuela. Okay? Not Denmark or Sweden or Norway. Okay? We would look like Venezuela. Socialism apologists, which is what I call them, anyone that supports socialism or says that it's really not that bad or it's a it's a different kind of socialism it's not the it's not the bad one that's going on in venezuela no 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 we don't want to bring you that we want to bring you the good kind right the good kind from denmark and norway and sweden right this is their argument well i'm about to smash that argument to pieces okay now while everyone is talking about these countries and pointing to them as a model of the type of democratic socialism that should be brought to America, including Bernie Sanders, by the way, they are failing. And I'm gonna point it out to you right now. But before I do that, most people that say that, well, we don't wanna bring socialism to turn it into Venezuela, we wanna make it look like Norway or Denmark, you know, the happy places, the happy socialists, right? This is the argument from the radical left, okay? But what they don't tell you is that most of those countries that they point to as being, quote, models of democratic socialism that work, well, guess what? They're market-based economies. Yes, they have welfare programs that are out of control with very, very high taxes. However, they also have a capitalist-based market economy. Why? Because if they didn't, they would look exactly like Venezuela. Now, if you're going to nationalize healthcare, put it all under one, eliminate all, con all uh, competition, right? Medicare for all. You're going to bankrupt the nation, $32.6 trillion. But more than that, you're going to start rationing care. You're going to now control everybody's behavior because what they want to do is they want to give you Medicare for all. What does that mean? They want to take the system, which by the way, they raided $760 billion for to pass the Unaffordable Careless Act, but that's a story for another day. They want to take that system and make it uniform and give it to all of us, which basically means you now have no more choice. You've eliminated all the private insurance companies, which clearly they say that they want to do and they wanna give you an inferior product, and they wanna charge you 60, 70, 80, and 90% of your paychecks to pay for that inferior product. So you go out there, you bust your ass, you work your ass off for your family, for your children and everything else, and then you get stuck with crappy healthcare, number one. You're paying out the nose for it, number two. Why? Because there's no more competition because the government now sets the pricing because there's no competition there. And as you get older, when you need the health care the most, you actually receive less of it. Why? Because as you get older, you become more expensive in these types of programs. And when you become more expensive, you are a liability. They would rather see you dead, die, or go away, or give you, you know, medicine to keep you comfortable while you pass away and give it to these new illegal aliens that they just brought into the system to help pay for it, okay? That's the reality of what Medicare for all will be. But let me get back on topic here. So uh, we now know that Finland is one of those countries, Denmark and Finland and Sweden, we wanna be the happiest place on earth. We wanna be a wonderful, country just like uh, Denmark and Sweden and Finland, right? This is what this idiot Bernie Sanders is praising. Well, Finland's economy, guess what, folks? It just collapsed. That's right. It just collapsed a few days ago. And why? Because of the rapidly rising costs of universal health care programs and also universal basic income. So Finland's financial demise was inevitable, okay? Now, when they introduced the universal basic income, that was the end. Why? Because they're giving out money monthly for people that are working or not working. 
They are one of the largest welfare countries in the entire world. Now, this same crazy, idiotic idea has recently been adopted in Stockton, California by their mayor. They are now giving everyone $500 a month regardless of whether or not you're working. They could care less. Actually, they kind of hope you're not working just so you want that money. Um, and that is a state, uh, I'm sorry, a city that already has filed bankruptcy. So think of how smart they are. They filed bankruptcy once. Now they're giving out universal basic income. Is it to help people? Is it to help the poor? No. You know what it is? It's to keep them under their control. It's to keep them voting for Democrats. It's to keep them coming back for more money. But back to Finland, sorry. So the media has pretty much completely ignored this story. They're not talking about it on any of the networks that I can find. But this is a very important story. And the reason they're not talking about it is clearly because it doesn't help Bernie Sanders. It doesn't help Comrade Sanders when he talks about how wonderful socialism is when you have the country of Finland now going under, right? They don't want you to know that, which is why they're not covering it. So here's what happened. The entire uh, government of Finland collapsed and resigned. Why did they resign? Because they were going to be forced to do changes. They were going to be forced to get away from the heavy welfare output that they put out there for years. Because again, financially, the system doesn't have the money. So they decided instead of fixing the problem that the prime minister and the entire cabinet would just go away, would just resign. So now that they've done that, there is at least an opportunity for a new government to come in and say, hey, we can't afford all of these wonderful you know, benefits and toys that we've been handing out. We're going to end up like Venezuela if we continue to do this. And so there's another failed example. Now, Bernie Sanders may say that uh, Finland is the happiest place on earth. It's uh, the happiest country in the world. Well, guess what? They're not going to be too happy for very long when they actually have to pay the piper and realize that they can't afford to keep giving out all those free benefits. But this is socialism. And socialism is, you know, like heroin. And communism is like heroin and crack. And it's addictive. And so here's what's m more than likely going to happen. Is the entire government going to learn from their mistakes of socialism and go down a different path and embrace capitalism and get rid of their welfare state? Hardly. Okay? A smart country would do that, yes. But I don't think that these people are going to do that because I think that they are addicted to these programs. They are heroin addicts for these programs. So... What I think is going to happen is what is already happening in other Scandinavian countries and all over Europe. As the populations grow older, as a matter of fact, by 2030, the population is uh, expected to be 26% by 2030 over the age of 65. So as these populations are getting older, what are they going to do? They're going to import, baby. Come on in. Open borders. Let's go. Where are you from? Syria? Come on in. Don't worry. But now we don't have to vet you. Come on in. What's that? We don't, it doesn't matter that we can't see your entire body and just your eyes. Come on into the country. What they're going to do is they're going to bring these people in from foreign countries, mainly from Islamic countries. Why? So that they can get them into the system, so that they can pay for the benefits of the old people, so that they don't have to cut their freebies. And what's going to happen then is these people that are coming in, that they're importing into their country and committing um, countrywide suicide, basically na national suicide. These people are going to take over their countries just like they're doing in Europe, just like they're doing in all the countries of the European Union with the open borders and Belgium, uh, Brussels telling them basically that you can't control your borders. And the next thing you know, they're going to take over. They're going to win elections. They're going to be in leadership positions, and then the native people of those countries, they're going to be slaves. And you know what? All they had to do was cut the benefits 
and stop being so damn greedy. What are your thoughts? Please put it down in the comments below. We'll be right back. The farther a society gets away from the truth, the more they hate those that speak it. I want to thank you personally for watching my video. I hope you enjoy the way that I do my show. Uh, it is uh, a unique way of doing it. I give you all the facts. I give you everything. I'm a truth seeker and a truth teller. And for that, I am also a target. And this channel is not monetized. How do you know it's not monetized? Do you see any commercials running? Are any commercials interrupting what I'm doing? No, they're not. So please help me monetize this program. YouTube has shut me down from being able to make any kind of monetization on what I'm doing and my efforts. So basically, I'm taking the arrows, I'm taking the risk, and so far, putting it out in my own pocket, putting it out there for everyone, and not really getting compensated for it. So please, do me a favor. If you like what I do, go to patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Again, you can see it in the image, www.patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Put five, ten dollars uh, a month on my Patreon. Uh, it's not a, an expenditure. It's an investment. It's an investment in future freedoms. It's an investment in prosperity because I eat, sleep, and breathe protecting this nation. And remember, in times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Thank you, and God bless.